Thank you, Perpetua. Now to discuss this, I'm being joined by Bolaho Olojede, a development analyst. Good morning, Bolaho, and thank you so much for joining me on the news. Yeah, good morning. Nice to be on the program. All right, so, uh, Bolaho, are there any specific factors or policies implemented by President Bola Tinubu's administration that contributed to the notable 34.11% increase in the all share index of the Nigerian exchange within the first six months? Or could it have been happenstance? Well, the stock market does not react to happenstance. Um, the stock market reacts to what you call confidence in the market by virtue of certain policy pronouncement from the top echelon um, of the people operating uh, the economy. So the, the Nigeria has had some major distortions um, in its economy. Uh, you have the fuel subsidy problem. Um, you have the multiple election rate issues. These are very uh, opaque uh, economic policies around them before now. Um, so when you make policies that try to address those issues that are fundamentally distorting the economy, uh, there are bound to be certain positive reactions uh, in the market. Uh, the other part is that some of the pronouncements of the, of, the, of the government, for example, you have the uh, Fiscal Policy uh, Committee, which was working on issues of multiple taxation in the economy to ensure that we can streamline the 60 or 50 different taxes that are, you know, or, or the people are being subjected to, streamline it to something that is simpler and easier so that we can, by virtue of that, have a better administered taxation regime and we can, you know, stop stifling businesses with issues around multiple taxation. Mm. So those are also policy pronouncements that the market will react positively to. So the market indeed reacted to all these uh, things that I believe are in the positive direction for the market. So that is essentially what drove right. what we have seen on there. All right, well, Alan, so just for context's sake, right, how much of positive is a rising all-share index for the Nigerian economy, and what are the benefits of this pos positive rise? It shows increased activity on the boards, and that is very, very important for the capital market. The capital market is the is is the place for invest is a source of is a source of investable funds for businesses in the economy. Therefore, if Nigerians begin to show more interest in what is going on in the capital market and begin to bring money into that capital market to come and invest, what it means is that businesses who are in need of this capital are able to assess capital on the boards, on the bosses, and expand their operations and be able to do business. So it is healthy for the uh, uh, economy for us to have a vibrant capital market. All right, so now uh, just looking beyond the rise in the all share index, what other key economic indicators or market metrics reflect the overall health and stability of Nigeria's economy during the initial six months of President Tinubu's administration as compared to the corresponding period under President Buhari? Okay, um, under President Buhari, uh, the, early, the early months were very negative because uh, there, were, there were no ministers, there were no specific policy directions that the markets will latch on to and, and see, oh, this, the president is going to go in this direction, it's going to go in the other direction. Those things were not there. So the market was left in limbo. It didn't know what to do. So that is different from this season. In this season, there are a lot of pronouncements coming from uh, the managers of the economy, coming from the president, and that is driving certain level of activities within the economy. We are not quite where we ought to be. For example, the issue of uh, multiple exchange rates, um, which is said to be a policy in the right direction, but because the supply side of things has not dramatically improved, we have not really seen much of the benefit of that policy in, uh, on, under the current regime. But if policy measures are sustained and executed with discipline, we might continue to see gradual improvement, which will eventually lead to stability of the currency. 
what we have seen in the private market over the last one month is what I would call a, a relative. The word relative is very important. Relative stability at about 1,150 to 1,170, which is totally different from when we were going from 700 to 800 to 900 to 1,000, all in a matter of weeks. So the volatility has reduced okay. uh, in the parallel market. At the same time, you see that the inflationary pressure, mm -hmm. while it is still going up, the inflation figure is going up, um, it is actually going up at a reduced rate. All right, thank you so much, Bala. Hopefully, we'll get to see some of the benefits of the policies that you did talk about uh, in no time. But thank you so much for your expert's view on this particular topic. We appreciate you. Thanks for having me.